Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Friday, the 29th of January. As we come together, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. From the rise of the sun to its setting, your glory is proclaimed in all the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To be glory and praise for ever. You gave your Son as a light to the nations, and you established the anointing of the Spirit. You established us as a royal priesthood. As you call us into your marvellous light, may our lives bear witness to your truth, and our lips never cease to proclaim your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him his glory proclaim, with gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. Lo, at his feet lay thy burden of carefulness, high on his heart he will bear it for thee. Comfort thy sorrows and answer thy prayerfulness, guiding thy steps as may best for thee be. Fear not to enter his courts in the slenderness, all the poor wealth thou would reckon as thine. Truth in its beauty and love in its tenderness, these are the offerings to lay on his shrine. These though we bring them in trembling at fearfulness, he will accept for the name that is dear. Mornings of joy give for evenings of tearfulness, trust for our tremblings and hope for our fears. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, bow down before him his glory proclaim. With gold of obedience and incense of lowliness, kneel and adore him, the Lord is his name. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us and cleanse our hearts to set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 67. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our second psalm for the evening is Psalm 77. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. I cried aloud to God. I cried aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. By night my hand is stretched out and does not tire. My soul refuses comfort. I think upon God, and I groan. I ponder, and my spirit faints. You will not let my eyelids close. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old. I remember the years long past. I commune my heart in the night. My spirit searches for understanding. Will the Lord cast us off forever? Will he no more show his favour to us? Has his loving mercy clean gone forever? Has his promise come to an end forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he shut up his compassion in displeasure? And I said, my grief is this, that the right hand of the Most High has lost its strength. I will remember the works of the Lord and will call to mind your wonders of old time. I will meditate on all your works, and ponder your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who works wonders, and declares your power among the peoples. 
With a mighty arm you redeem your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and were afraid. The depths also were terrified. The cloud poured out water, the sky thundered. Your arrows flashed on every side. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightning lit up the ground. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the great waters, but your footsteps were not known. You led your people like sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In the day of my trouble, I have sought the Lord. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Genesis, chapter 16, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. Now Sari was Abraham's wife, bore him no children. She was an Egyptian slave girl whose name was Hagar. And, and, Sa and Sarah said to Abraham, You see that the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Go into my slave girl. It may be that I shall obtain children by her. And Abraham listened to the voice of Sarah. So as Abraham had lived for ten years in the land of Canaan, Sarah, Abraham's wife, took Hagar, the Egyptian, her slave girl, and gave her to her husband Abraham as a, as a wife. He went into Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, she looked with contempt on her mistress. And Sarah said to Abraham, May the wrong done to me be on you. I gave my slave girl to your embrace, and when she saw that she had conceived, she looked on me with contempt. May the Lord ju judge between me, you, and me. But Abraham said to Sarah, your slave girl is in your power. Do to her as you please. Then Sarah dealt harshly with her, and she ran away from her. The angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, the spring on, on the way to Shur. And she said, Hagar, slave girl of Sarah, where have you come from, and where are you going? She said, I am running from my mistress Sarah. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I also greatly multiply your offspring, that they cannot be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Now you have conceived and shall bear a son. You shall call him Ishmael, for the Lord has given heed to your affliction. He shall be a wild ass of a man, with his hand, with his hand against everyone, and everyone's hand against him. And he shall live at odds with all his, his kin. So she, named the, so she named the Lord who spoke to her, You are Eloi. For she said, I have really seen God and remembered and remained alive after seeing him. Therefore the well was called Beer Eli Eroi. It lies between Kadesh and Bered. Hagar bore Abraham a son, and Abraham named his son, who Hagar bore Ishmael. Abraham was eighty six years old when Hagar bore him Ishmael. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You created all things, O God and are worthy of our praise for ever. You are worthy of our praise, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you have created all things, and by your will they have been seen. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. You created all things, O God, and are worthy of our praise for ever. So our New Testament reads a continuation of the Gospel according to St Matthew, chapter 26, verse 57 to the end of the chapter, and will be read by Zander. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, high priest, mm -hmm. priest in those house to describe who the, who the scribes that the and the elders had gathered but peter was following him at a distance as far as the countryside courtyard of, of the, the high priest. priest and going inside he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Mm -hmm. Now the chief prince Priests. and the whole council, council 
for looking beautiful testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. But they found none through so many, many false, false witnesses came forward at last. Two came forward and said, this fellow said, I am able to de destroy many falsehoods. The temple. The temple of God and build it in three, three days. days. If the high priest. priest stood up and said, have you no answer? What, what is it that they testify to you? Testify. Against you, but Jesus was silent. Was silent. Then the high priest said to him, "I put you under oath Both. before the living God. God, tell us if you are what listen the Messiah, son, the Son of God." Jesus said to him, "You have said." But I tell you, you from now on, you will see the Son of God man. You send seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Blasphemed, why do we still need a witness? Says, yep, you, you have. have now heard the blasphemy. Mm -hmm. What you have done me. What is your verdict? They answered to the scribe. He death. deserves death. Then they, they spat in his face and struck him. And some stapled Slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Messiah, who is it that struck, struck you? Him. And struck him. Uh, and now Peter. And now Peter was sitting outside in the countryside. Courtyard. And a servant girl, girl came to him in, and, said, and said, You also were here with Jesus. The Galilean. The Galilean, but he disdained. denied it before all of them, so, saying, saying, I don't, I do not what, know no. what to you are talking about. But when he no. went out to the porch, another servant girl, servant girl who saw him and said, she said to, to the bystanders, this, this man was Jesus. Was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he said. He denied it with it, an oath. It was an oath. I do not know the man after a little while. The bystanders came up to Nazareth and said to Peter. And said to Peter, certainly. You are also one of them for the active accent betrays you. Then he began to curse and, and swore an oath. As well. I don't know the man at the moment. The coat cock crowed. crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said before the cock. cock Crows. You will deny me three times, and when he went out we and wept bitterly. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good job. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. God's salvation has been openly shown to all people. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He had looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights, the anointed one on whom my spirit rests. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. As we come to the end of the day, be with us as we go into the evening. Guide our hands, our hearts and our minds. Be with us throughout this weekend. May we show your love in how we treat others and how we look after your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you would bless all who suffer with the coronavirus. For those who are infected with the virus, for those who are homeschooling, for those who are desperately awaiting a vaccine, for those who are missing friends, family, loved ones, for those who are mourning, for those who are hospitalised, and those who have died. We pray for the continued efforts of the NHS in caring for those who are sick and in helping to inoculate those who are well. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are suffering with the rains and the winds, for those who are at risk of flooding. We pray, Lord, that you would show compassion on those who are at risk. We pray for all who are the victims of natural disasters. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in this world, for an end to violence and an end to suffering. We pray for all places where there is war and conflict. And we ask, Lord, that you would show your compassion on those who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Anything you want to pray for, Annie? Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us and those who are known to you alone. We pray particularly for Davy, for Megan and for Samantha. We pray for those who are awaiting treatment or have had treatments delayed because of COVID. We pray for all to be made well and all to be in your good graces. We pray also for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So you can May Christ who sends us to the natural nations give us the power of spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the God. Thanks be, be to God. God. So please do join me on Sunday at 9.30 for our streamed Eucharist, which will be on Facebook and then will be uploaded onto um, YouTube afterwards. After the live service at about 10.15, 10.30, uh, we will be gathering on Zoom for coffee and catch-up. 
Uh, the link went out earlier on today, so please do join me if you can for that. I'd like to thank Xander for his excellent reading. Good job. So until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe, and have a very good weekend.